What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jeff. Well, in today's video, I'm really excited to show you how to create a really nice crispy and really nice clean tone on the Line 6 Helix. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Line 6 Helix, which is on the floor with the Line 6 edit and my VG guitar. And before we get started, make sure to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm and to subscribe on the channel because I'm gonna make a lot of tutorials about the Line 6 Helix. So without being said, let's move on to the computer. Here we go. All right, so this is the, the interface of the, the Line 6 edit. What you're gonna learn in this tutorial is basically, um, I'm gonna show you how to create a really nice clean tone, but you will be able to do well to basically play it in multiple genres such as funk, jazz, metal, if you got if you want some ambience and everything like that. So it's gonna be a really nice template for you guys to, to use. It's actually pretty cool. And so yeah, let's dive into it. The first thing that I like to do on the um, before we get started with the amp and the cab and everything, what I like to do is to add for example a volume on the pedal. So now you can hear no sound sound no sound sound and that's actually really convenient because i'm not using any wah in particular but uh if for example on stage i need to cut my volume straight away i just put my uh my pedal down and it does the job instead of holding on the tuner you can do both but i like adding the volume and now we can add our amp and in our case for the clean channel we're going to be using the us princess which has a really nice tone. And for the cab, we're gonna be using a stock cab. And I would say that before I was completely against the stock cab of the of Line 6, but since the new update, I actually really dig it. It's actually really, really amazing. And we're gonna be using, let's do a different combination because I know that I like to go straight forward, but let's see how, what kind of... This is actually pretty cool, but we're gonna keep it like this for the time being just to have a, a cap, but I, I like the US Princess, which is the same model as the, the head. But now what we can do, I like adding a compressor and we're gonna be using, let's do a different combination because I know that I like to go straight forward, but let's see how, what kind of... This is actually pretty cool, but we're gonna keep it like this for the time being just to have a, a cap, but I, I like the US Princess, which is the same model as the, the head. But now what we can do, I like adding a compressor at the end of the, uh, well, after everything pretty much, just to get a little bit more dynamic, but I don't like being too, too fancy on it. So you see, not too much, and also in the mix, I like, I'm gonna add on 50%. Because even if you want to do some like... Even when you want to do like some slap or everything like that, you're not gonna get like a massive attack, but it's still gonna be really punchy and crispy at the same time, and it's really nice. And now we're gonna add three different effects. So the one that I like to use is, is a regular chorus, or maybe in this case, we can try to do something else to make it a little bit more interesting. 
maybe the plastic chorus which is a really nice choice and then then let's tweak a little bit this before going too fast uh, on the mix 50% is actually fine you can even put it down in case you want to just have like like I like to do is having it in the background we can hear it but very very slightly and that's why I like it or you can even put it at like 20% I think 20% is fine you can you can hear it but it's not too much there we go uh, maybe for in my case I'm gonna leave it at 15% because you can hear a nice sound it, it can make your sound pretty much unique um, then I'm gonna add a delay just a literally simple delay if you want to go nuts I definitely recommend you to go on to the glitch delay which is but this one is too too slow but it's gonna kill your sound unless you want to do something really really crazy um, on the delay what I like to do is to have it pretty much pretty much instantly like kind of yeah pretty much instantly yeah so a hundred milliseconds there we go On the feedback we can maybe put it at like 45 and in the mix we can add it to for example 70 uh, feedback 20% for the time we're gonna adjust the time And in the mix, yeah, maybe you can leave it at like 25. It's just to make it a little bit thicker. So what you can, what I can recommend to you is to just play a little bit with that. Don't try to put it in your mix on your guitar tone straight away. Try to play around with a sound that you like and then you just drop everything down. So for me, in the mix, it's like in 25% because I want to have a really nice dis distinguished uh, tone and then at the end this is my favorite touch I'm adding a reverb and the reverb that I use it depends but for this video I'm gonna use the searchlight now you understand why because it's a really deep um, reverb but I'm gonna add it only about 15 to maybe 20 25 percent because if I do for example already 30 it's already going nuts, literally going nuts. So between 20 and 25%, so let's put, yeah, just. And then in the mix, you've got already a really nice, uh, clean and really crispy tone that, uh, that I really enjoy. Even if you play, You've got a really nice tone and even when you play like regular chords or you've got a nice ambience and if you want to to get to be a little bit more fun for example you can disengage delay and reverb and then can actually just put the delay on just to get a little bit more um, like a kind of layer on your uh, on your attack
And then, if you want to play some proper ambience, you've got a really nice um, sound color with, uh, with this preset. It's actually a really, really easy preset to use, but you can literally play with, uh, with any genres. So yeah, there you go. I think we are arriving at the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down below in the, in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe and to destroy one more time the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I see you on the next video. Bye-bye.